Howdy folks, Brett here. In this video, I'll be showing you 12 useful run commands, which are a great way to quickly open settings, system tools, launch applications, and a whole lot more. Much like keyboard shortcuts, they make using Windows more efficient and can save you a lot of time from having to dig through settings, folders, etc. Let's get started. There are two ways to open the Run dialog box. The first and least efficient way is to right click the Start menu in the taskbar and select Run. You'll see it open in the lower left corner. The quickest and most efficient way to open it is with the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus R key. While it always opens here in the left corner, you can move it around if you want. And for the purposes of this video, I'll keep it centered on the screen for each segment. For each of these run commands, I'll be going through them fairly quickly, so pause the video if you want to practice them. The first run command is msconfig. This is one I've used most throughout the years, and it will open system configuration. After entering a run command, instead of clicking on OK, just hit enter on your keyboard. System configuration lets you choose the type of startup you want, lets you see all the services that are running, and lets you see the other system tools that are built into Windows. You can launch them from here as well. Startup items used to be managed here, but now that is done in the Task Manager. To open File Explorer, the command here is Explorer. This is where you can access the files and folders on your drive. But let's say you wanted to go directly to a specific drive. Enter the drive letter, followed by the colon. In this example, I did the C drive, and this is where I can access everything in that drive. To open the Windows Services tool, that command is services dot msc. Windows Services are core components of the Windows operating system. Running in the background, they support OS functions and support applications. These should not be changed in any way unless you know what you're doing. If you do, have at it. If you're curious about the specs on your computer, open System Information with the command MS Info followed by the number 32. This will show you everything from operating system version, processing type, amount of RAM installed, and a whole lot more. This information can be valuable when upgrading hardware, troubleshooting, and a myriad of other reasons. If you need to view or modify the Windows registry, that command is regedit, R-E-G, followed by the word edit. This opens the registry editor. For advanced users only, this is a great place to modify settings, fix broken entries, or resolve system issues. Use caution when using it. Incorrectly editing the registry can cause serious system instability, errors, and data loss and always create a system restore point before making any modifications. This next command is primarily for gamers. To open the DirectX diagnostic tool, that command is DX, D-I-A-G. This utility gathers and displays detailed information about your computer's DirectX components, along with information about graphics, sound, and input devices. It's helpful in troubleshooting issues with games. For example, if I were having problems with one of my monitors, I would select the display. This might help to troubleshoot the problem. If one is found, it'll appear down here in Notes. Otherwise, it'll say, No problems found. This command brings up all of the programs you have installed on your computer. appwiz.cpl This brings up the Programs and Feature page in the Control Panel, which is often more complete than the apps that are listed in Windows Settings. Here you can quickly uninstall any programs that you have on your computer. Instead of right-clicking on your taskbar to open the Task Manager, use the Run command Task MGR. This is where you can see all the processes running on your PC. 
It's also the best place to enable and disable apps at startup. To bring up the highly underrated built-in calculator in Windows, that command is C-A-L-C. It's great for providing basic to advanced math functions. Some of the calculators included, other than standard, include scientific, graphing, programmer, and date calculation. There's also various converters included. If you travel international, the currency converter is a must. If you often make changes to the settings of your mouse, this command will come in handy. Enter main.cpl. This will open the window for mouse properties. Here you can adjust the double click speed, the pointer speed, the number of lines scrolled at a time, and a whole lot more. One of the most popular uses for power users to use the Run dialog box is to open the command prompt window. That command is simply CMD. Instead of using a graphical user interface, users type text-based commands to perform actions like navigating files, running programs, and troubleshooting system issues. Just typing the word help and hitting enter will display a list of built-in commands and a brief description of their functions. One of the most important built-in tools in Windows to troubleshoot issues is the Event Viewer. That run command is event VWR. It records events such as application errors, system issues, and security-related activities like login attempts. By examining the logs, it can help to identify warnings and errors helping to diagnose issues. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. What are your favorite run commands that you use most often? Let us know in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and make sure to click the bell to not miss out on our latest videos for Windows and other tech related stuff here on Brett in Tech.